I think this is the third time this week the scriptures have talked about wanting to stone Jesus to kill him or arrest him or both. And um, of course, we get saturated by that description of their relationship to Jesus uh, on the week before Holy Week because I think we're being primed. We're being set up to to see what's coming. Now, we know because we know the whole story and we know the passion of Christ and all. But liturgically, we get dragged into this place to see this growing animosity, this growing hatred of Jesus and the desire to kill him, desire to kill him. I wonder what an adult who had never heard of Jesus ever would think and feel if they walked into the church and saw that. I'm told by a priest, uh, he uh, was a, a white father, that's what they are called, he came out of England, and he spent some years in, um, in Africa with this, I want to say the Maasai, that is, is a, a tribe of, of black people, and the men were warriors, and the big, tall, big men. And uh, they had a lot of problem with that. They, they had a lot of difficulty when Jesus Christ was preached to them because they couldn't understand how people could do that to their God. And um, I suppose in that ignorance, they saw a different kind of a clarity. You know, how do you do that to someone who you say came to preach the truth and who 2,000 years later you still believe in? Look what they did. And yet, that's exactly what they did. But we hear it today. The prophets said the same thing. We, we hear this psalm of, of the promise of all that God will do to protect us and help us, but, you know, that's all fine and good when everything is good and fine. But what about when you're going through tremendous pain or suffering or struggle, or you just heard you have cancer, or you're fighting a chronic disease, or your husband or wife walk out on you, or one of your children go to prison, or, or any other list of things that happen, and we feel like, God, where are you? Where are you, God? And yet, this is very much at the core of who we are and what we believe. We believe that in that injustice and hatred and sinfulness, that a good man, a just man, a man of truth, uh, a man who would call himself son of God, would end up like this. And we often hear it said, could we think anything would be different for you and me, for us? I mean, we follow him and we follow his words and we say and do what he said and did. So we come to this Holy Week, starting on Sunday, Saturday evening, Sunday, and we immerse ourselves deeply, deeply into this mystery of the cross so that we can just as deeply, deeply experience the power of the resurrection. And this, the holiest of all weeks of the year, become the week that we come to know the power of Jesus and his word and his teaching and his life within us. Please stand.